Kid presents Space Harrier. Space Harrier. Press any button. Oh god. Space Harrier. I don't know anything about the Space Harrier. There's nothing to know. It's just amazing fucking game. It's not gonna be a long, uh, a long run because this game's fucking hard. It's hard. Uh, yeah, this game's fucking hard. Oh, is it because it was an arcader? Yeah, arcade games are very, very, Welcome very hard. Get ready. Okay. Get ready. In your rocket powered and my rocket powered thing. All right, Space Harrier. Um, doesn't look like much now, um, but this is from like 1985 or something, like crazy like that. Um, oh yeah, that's the Strat. Um, so I think at this time when when this game came out, there, they couldn't do like 3D polygons or anything yet. Like this was. So, the, so this was an advanced thing back in the day. Yeah, so what they did is basically um, they scaled the sprites to make them big and small to give you the illusion of, of depth. like depth. Yeah. <laughs> and then they made the floor checker pattern so that it looks like it's moving. Yeah. Um, to create the illusion. Yeah. Um, so to give you an example, like when this came out, like the first Mario Brothers, I think, came out. So think of those graphics, and then look at this. Oh, that's a that's a big boy. Um, yeah, it was a uh, it was friggin' it was quite a quite an achievement. And he they made uh, the guy who made this Yu Suzuki. He made uh, several different games using this I guess technology. Uh, he did Outrun, this which technique. yeah, um, Outrun, which is a, a a race car driving one. I don't know if you're racing or if yeah yeah I guess you are. Um, there's Hang On, which is uh, a motorcycle version, and then the other one was Afterburner, which is a uh, airplane and the one. They actually did a uh, in Bayonetta. They they put a they put a level where you basically play Afterburner, but you're in Bayonetta instead. <laughs> oh God! And it plays a theme song to Afterburner. Well then. Um. But yeah, Space Harrier. Um, I remember I saw some fucking reviews on this game, um, specifically the Switch version, and it was like, oh my god, yeah, it's it, like it's a really good port, you know, like they did a really good job at like porting it over. But the game itself is just meh. I was like, um, excuse me, um, what the fuck are you talking about? This game fucking rips. Um, I don't know, Lisa. What do you think of Space Harrier? Oh. God, there's a lot going on. Um, I mean, the graphics for the time definitely look nice. Uh, they definitely did a good job making it look like you're actually moving around like a crazy person, as you are, and, you know, like you're moving into the distance. So, I think from a technology standpoint, it's pretty impressive. I mean, obviously not for today's standard. It's just, it's a lot of moving around. How do you know when you're dead? Where's your HP? Oh, is it on the bottom? Right uh, there? You, those are lives? You, those are your lives. Okay. If you die if you get hit. Oh, so it just takes one. Alright. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. God. Yeah, like that? Like that one? Get, Ew. get ready. <laughs> get ready. I don't even know how to how do you say it. It's so good. Such a good voice sample. Oh lord. So you killed half the dragon? Yeah, he's coming back for more. Oh! I think the dragon's gonna murder you. Can he regrow his head? Uh, I don't think so. The one you destroyed. You just don't die again. Um. Oh, so this is the shenanigan here. So to make it look like it's going faster, they do this shit. Oh, Lord. You just um, moved to outer space. Well, I've been in outer space this whole time. Uh, well, you're dead. So is that score, the top score one you got, or is it... Uh, I don't remember. Probably. Um, but... So, oh my god. Oh, Victor. This game's fucking hard! 
Uh, so the the I didn't grow up playing this game. Like I wasn't, you know, in the arcades and shit. Um, I was also I wasn't even born when this came out. Um, oh. But the when I had a Dreamcast, uh, well, when I had Dreamcast, when the Dreamcast came out and then Shenmue came out, uh, it was the same dude who made Shenmue. So he in, there was a little um, Shenmue's a game a where you. Gen was a game where you like walk around and, and you do stuff in like 1980s Japan. It's a fuzzy um, and you, there's like every, the what he was trying to do in that game was basically make it to like it's a it's a simulation of real life, so everything is interactable with even if there's nothing in there. Uh, like every drawer in your closet, in your in your house can be open even if there's nothing in there it's just because he wanted to create something that was like true to life uh, and one of the places you can visit is an arcade and in the arcade since he fucking made this game and he made the other one he put space area in there and, a rock destroyer. and you can <laughs> and you can use like the in-game money that they give you to play space harrier and i think they had outrun or, or no they had i think they had hang on and then, like, it, the, the game only gives you, like, three continues. Um, mm. It's really your last leg. Yeah. Uh, and so that's where I played it for the first time. And at the time, I was like, I don't fucking know what this is, but it's fun. And ever since then, I've just been like, yeah, fucking, I want it. Like, I had it on the Wii um, when it came out in, like, the, the virtual console arcade or whatever. I got it on the 3DS when they released the 3D version of it, uh, which looks amazing. Uh, and then I got it on this just because I was like, fuck it, I want to play it on the TV or on the, on the go uh, in the the best quality. Because the people who, who like port these games are like really, really good at it. Uh, and this is where you see the fucking elephants, the mammoths from the cover or from the title screen. Victor die again. Yeah, this is. I think we're gonna last too much longer. But I don't even care, man. I beat Have it. you ever fully beaten? Yeah, I've beaten it before. On the on well, the 3DS, um, I was like on that like hardcore. And this with the 3D effect on, oh, it's just. Mm. Beautiful, just precious. Uh, the 3DS one also had a, a cool thing where it would like sit you outside the, the cabinet, and it would all move. Cause the we saw a video of the of the actual arcade cabinet, and it's like you sit down, and then as you move the joystick to move the space harrier, the whole fucking thing moves. Oh, oh, I don't even oh, know what this oh, is. Oh, 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 oh. Just chaos. Get ready. Get ready. Oh, How many know. stages are there? Uh, like 19 or 17? Oh 17, my god, you've already used two of your three legs. Yeah, so, this, this, so are, you know the... I've told you this. You know the, the rule of arcade games. They're very difficult because they wanted you to put they more quarters in. want to steal your quarters. In. Yeah. They're like, give us your quarters, kids. Like the, the um, arcade games had... I think they are called dip switches. Uh, on the actual arcade boards, some of them eventually just had it on the on the um, like in-game menus. Mm -hmm. But it it was like something only the coin operator, like the the fucking arcade person, could like access. And it had like secret menus for like if they put in a coin, is it uh, does it count as one play? Does it count as two plays? Um, does it count as like you need three coins for one play? Like, how do you guys want to set it up? So the you can also change like the difficulty on it and stuff, um, so that the arcade owners had like a, a more control over like, how many quarters they got. Yeah, like it's like you know, remember when we went to um, round one mm -hmm. and you, the, you bought the little card to, to play the to play the games for like an hour or whatever, but yeah. only some games worked. And then some games was like, if you want to play House of the Dead, you gotta use up five tokens for one play, because they have a, um, because there's a menu in there where you can set like if someone swipes their card, which would be the equivalent of putting in a quarter, 
um, how much, how many tries do they get? And they fucking max that shit out because they're trying to make money. Also, yeah, you, the fucking song to this, the one song to this game, fucking rips. Um, yeah, have you seen the cover? Yeah, well, it wasn't. It was the main title screen, but like the cover to this game, it's just like, what the fuck is going on? Like nothing in this game makes sense. Like giant mushrooms that were attacking me earlier. You got fucking robots and mammoths. Well, you're just going to different planets, right? That's kind of. I think they're. What they're I, think. It, I think it's the same planet. It's just different areas. Oh god. I mean, yeah, because a lot of the enemies are similar. Yeah, look at these fucking mushroom jellyfish things. That fucking airplane. Those jellies look like something that would have come out of uh, Nausicaa Valley of the Wind. They do. I mean, same time era, right? Yeah. Maybe Space Harrier is on the same planet. Oh my God! Why? Yo, let a rock. That's that's how he ends it. A rock. No, this kills is my. Him. This is probably my last. Continue. Oh my God. I fucked up hard because I was like, let me run on the floor. If you're not on the floor, the rocks can't hurt you. But I decided I want to run on the floor mm. for the added effect of running on the floor. Oh my god. You no, know, I don't think running on the floor is your strong suit. I don't think it's I don't think it's a viable strat. No. Fuck these robots. Why is it the robots' fault that you decided to run on the oh, floor? Oh no! Oh, oh. Look, I got a new high score. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, this is one thing I hate about this fucking game. Is that getting over to the... To the letters you need all the way back. Yeah. Has always been a hassle. Um, but yeah, this is Space Harrier. Um, it's gonna be a short one, just cause... I mean... That, there's not much to this game. It's a... It's a friggin' arcade game. But yeah, I love this game. Uh, I never noticed that the uh, the sign flips and it says the same thing on Welcome both sides. You can like pick levels and all that kind of stuff because it's like a it's like a cool mode or it's a whatever. Um, it's like a port. But yeah, Space Harrier, um, dope as shit. Um, this is the kind of game I like playing where it's just like mindless and action and just go. Uh, we were playing. They were trying to teach me how to play Monster Hunter World. Oh god! And there's so many buttons and menus and layers and layers it's and not layers. That there's so many buttons. It's just that there's. A this lot game of has one sub-menus. button. This is this is what I'm used to. So maybe maybe I've gotten to the point where I'm too old oh my god. for the new video games. Oh my god! I think I've reached that point. Monster Hunter is not even new. I mean, it's newish. World is more streamlined. Yeah, that's that's them fixing the that's them making it more accessible, and I still don't know what the fuck's going on. So anyone can pick pick up Space Harrier and play. No, just. Just saying. Also, uh, yeah, Space Hair, top three favorite games of all time. Um, I already played my number one, but this one's up there with it. Uh, and that was Chip and Dale. I played that by myself because Alyssa didn't. No, no one I've ever played with, other than my cousin, has been good at that game. Like, everyone's fucking terrible at it. I don't understand why. Um, but yeah, Space Hair. Space Hair. Do, do, do.